opening ceremony. Flashbacks has gone clean, and they're going to try to not go to the if game. 45s beat Signature to get back here. They need to win twice. And again, we're over here. Hope the glare isn't too bad, but it's the only place I seem to be getting a decent signal. So we're going to be underway here in just a few minutes. So 45s, I think, won that game 9 to 1 or 9 to 2. Was running around getting ready for championship game. You saw that. Will Russ live streamed it, and we're going to be underway. So, no secrets. Both these teams have won a ton of no gloves. I think this would be flashback sixth. Forty fives at one point. I know they had a streak where they won four. My guess is they're well over six. Should have added it up on the back of the T-shirt. So we got a little sun, like I said, so we'll hang in here. And leading off, very familiar face, Anthony Sanchez, P.J. Reigns, Nate Mercado. We'll get to the rules for some of you new to the stream. And Anthony takes the first pitch a little deep. So Mike Morosevich, flashback won the winner's bracket 9-3 to three over the 45s. So Flash here trying to go back to back out here. And Sanchez to center field. Smikowski got there. We got a little wind blowing in. Anthony had an inside out swing. Had that kind of spin. That ball wanted to hook back to Justin's right, but he stayed with it. And that's how the game begins. So that's going to bring up P.J. Reigns now. P.J. having a pretty good weekend. P.J. tries to go over the top. That ball's going to get knocked down. Two up, two down. Brings up Nate Mercado. So I told you, I thought Mike Manzella was having a great weekend. I looked his stats up. In between games, he's hitting 685. So he's certainly a candidate for MVP, I would think. Should flash win. So here's Nate Mercado. And they are using four umpires in this game. You know, umpires sometimes, they don't like the four-man crew because they never work in it. But that's always been a tradition here. And Nate just fouled. And that wasn't fouled by much. Coach, your pitch. Saw some grass and stuff kick up there. I couldn't tell if it was chalk or not. Spencer got over there very quickly. So two out here, top of the first. And one thing to keep in mind, if it does go to the if game, flashback is on this side with the sun pouring into their dugout. And Mercado slaps it, big hop for Vito, and he throws it crazy. Hit the pole on the dugout. Vito had all kinds of time, never really got set. And that ball hit the post in the dugout, came shooting back out. Vito's got a strong arm. Sometimes he likes to throw the ball on the run. No chance for Stacy. And here comes Vince Stacy. So flashbacks defense been pretty good most of the tournament. Stacy high fly ball. Smykowski puts it away. At the end of a half inning, no score. And I need to flip the scoreboard, so let me take care of that now. Okay. 
Let's go. You big suck it, I can make that through all this. Leading off, it's going to be Brian Kearns. Got the scoreboard right. You are automatically the home team if you come clean here. So that's going to bring up Brian Kearns having a good weekend. A couple of big hits in the win against the 45s in the winner's bracket, which we showed. Back to Israel, and that's the first out here in the bottom of the first. Brings up Danny Dispenza. Danny is the current doubles leader in the Chicago Summer Series. And he does run hard out of the box. And Dispenza shoots that one straight up in the air. Chuck Rigaldo puts it away. Sky high fly ball. Took a long time to come down. And that brings up Justin Smykowski. And that winner's bracket championship game, Flash jumped up one to nothing. Game was tied one, and then Flash took control after that. And they just kept leaking out. Had a 9-1 to one lead. 45 scored a couple of runs late. Smykowski, long throw. Mercado will lead it. Justin, a lefty, runs terrific. That was deep in the hole. Nate knew he had no shot. Didn't want to risk throwing it away and letting him grab an extra base. Here's Mike Manzella. Wind picking up a little bit here late in the afternoon like it tends to do here in Chicago. Clouds have kind of disappeared and we have a breeze blowing in pretty good now. Most of the morning games in early afternoon and Manzella stays hot. Simkowski going to easily get the third. And flashback runners on the corner. Two outs for Joe Piscitelli. So flash a golden opportunity here. A couple of two out hits. And it brings up Joe Piscitelli. Israel pours a strike in. That one makes it all the way to the catcher. So no secrets. These guys have probably played each other a hundred times, and he hits it right back to Israel Sanchez. Think he was trying to beat him up the box. Joe had a couple of hits up the middle. That time, that time he just chopped a little wood there. He didn't hit it solid. Ball popped up. Easy play for Israel. So we'll head to the top of the second. No score. This is the championship game of the 56th annual Park District of Forest Park No Glove Nationals Tournament. For those of you tuning in, this is Chicago-style 16-inch softball. You're seeing it correct. No gloves, 60-foot bases. Lead off can't steal. 38 from the pitching rubber to the point of home plate. 6-12 on the arc. Pitcher gets a drag step. One step left, right, or back. Two fakes or hesitation. Third arm action must deliver the ball home. A thrower fake to a base is one of your fakes or hesitations. Here's Jeff Mastari. It's a 16-inch clincher. It is not a mush ball. And we use heavy bats. They can weigh 38 ounces, 34 inches long, two and a quarter on the barrel. No fence, all you can get. Minimal foul territory down the right field line. A little bit more down the left. And if we need to pan the center. And there's Mistari going toward the gap and he splits it. Simkowski grabbed it one-handed. Fired it in from deep right center to keep Mistari to a double. Again, you can see the fans out there. They have a white line. And they're allowed to put their chairs there. So 45s 
first real threat of the ball game for them as Jeff Mastari splits the gap in right center. And here's Lentine, little chopper to Stacy. He does move the runner to third with less than two outs, and it brings up Adam Haas. Adam airmailed a triple down the right field line in the signature game right before this to help get the 45s here. It was a two-run triple, and that ball just took off. So Flash here, hoping for a line driver, an infield pop-up. And if you're the 45s, you'd like to get a lead. And this is going to be interesting. Dispenza's got a gun, throws it home, not in time. And Mastari, a very awkward slide, but he pops right up. And deep enough to get the job done there. 45's first lead of the game, one to nothing. So it's a good pitch. And that's why I always tell you young kids, you don't need to hit the ball 300 feet to drive a guy in from third base. And Dispenza's got a good arm. There's a high pop-up. Joe Pish cruises back. And that'll be the third out. But the 45s take the first lead of the game, one to nothing. So, and I'm put a little cool air on my tablet here. So you do have a lot of sun. You always worry about the phones overheating. But 45's an early lead. So that's going to bring up Joey Agardo, the shortstop, then Vito Iovino, and then Anthony Stacy. And now that the sun's in full bloom here, Wind has died down. Very humid and hot out today. Be a leader, eh? It's Joey Agardo trying to get something going. And Iggy, a little bouncer up the middle. Joe Pauly throws it away. Joey Agardo is on. He was in great shape there. Just yanked the throw wide left. So here's Vito, leadoff man on. Flashback trying to answer down one here. Very early in the first championship game. And Vito gets a base hit. Joey Agardo will easily get the third. And with nobody out, runners on the corner. Vito just reached out and poked it into right center. Brings up Ryan Ross. Uh, excuse me, Anthony Stacy. So Anthony Stacy now got an opportunity to tie the game. He just pushes it. This could be no. It's, he hustled down there, fielder's choice, but the game is tied. Game is tied at one. Here in the bottom of the second, still only one out. And brings up Ryan Russ. And again, when you talk about big dogs playing each other, this is the definition. Both these teams have won a tournament. It'll be the first time in a couple of years somebody's won two out here in Chicago. And Ryan Russ slaps it at Israel. They will get Stacy, but not Ryan. So two outs now. So flashback. Had first and third, nobody out. They did score a run. Last two hitters, Stacy and Ryan Russ, have beat the ball into the ground. Here comes Mike Meyer. 
They've had a tendency to swing for Mike at times. Mike, a terrific defensive player. I think he maybe only got one at bat in the 45 game. And he calls a strike there. Mike thought he had a walk. And here's Mike Meyer now. And there's a strike. Ryan Russ running, full count. Another chopper. Villaria, high throw! Oh, what the fuck? And he says he came down on the bag there. That was awful close. Adam Haas, a long, tall kid, jumped in the air. First base umpire felt he came down on the bag. Bobby Russ is not happy. Might be asking for help. He doesn't think he came down. He did come down on the bag. And so this is all just jockey and trying to get the next call. And of course, first base umpire reversed the catch last night. In the signature case game, when the ball was hit down the left field line, and I think Flashback still has some animus regarding that. Sometimes when a few calls goes goes against you, you tend to start disliking the umpire. So we're in the third inning, one one. Joe Pauly going to lead off here for the forty fives. And, of course, last year in the first championship, Mike Morosevich pitched a one to nothing shutout. So I guess if you're for the 45s, you got to feel glad that you at least broke the seal. Here's Pauly. High fly ball with that breeze blowing in. Easy play for Ryan Ross. And now the breeze is... Picking up a little bit, giving everybody a little relief. And it brings up Israel Sanchez. Both teams keeping their powder dry here. A lot of times they would either swing for Izzy sometimes, but this early, with nobody on, these teams understand the importance of having flexibility to make moves later in a ballgame. And Israel, a soft line drive. Vito, the short center, can't get there. Smykowski was flying in, thinking about throwing the first. Israel has been fighting a left knee injury. Jeff Hernandez reminding his infield that on a fielder's choice, they have time to go to second. So here's Chuck Rigaldo with Anthony Sanchez on deck. And Chuck's been swinging the bat pretty good the last couple of weeks. And he tries to go big, but again, in this wind, it's just getting knocked down out there, not going anywhere. So now you got two outs. Israel will be running on the swing, but not sure he can score on a stretch single if they get the ball clean and throw it in clean. So Anthony Sanchez, two outs runner at first. Mike Morosevich playing that win so far hasn't affected him. And umpire called that a ball. And Anthony will foul that out 
of play into the crowd. So two strikes. At some point in this game, you at some point in this game you expect both teams might loosen up offensively, but and there's a ground ball. Skips through Vito. Moji didn't know whether or not to touch it, pulled his hand back. Should have been a pretty routine play, went right through the wickets. And it brings up PJ Reigns. So Israel did limp in here. Well, Eddie, you're probably going to get banned. We don't talk like that on this site. So that's just ridiculous. So here comes PJ Reigns. And there he takes a strike. So, folks, we always got haters out there. And there's a hard line drive. Israel gonna, is going to score. Anthony's going to take a big hard turn, but he comes back. So the 45s reclaim the lead 2-1. to one. And it brings up Nate Mercado here. 45's in a good spot here to maybe pick up some more here with two outs. So right now, Flashback's defense hasn't been as crisp as it was when they were marching to this championship game. And there's a ground ball up the middle. Vito can't make that play. Another one scores. First and third. A couple of plays up the middle that haven't been made here have kind of led to this three to one lead here in the top of the third. And here's Sacy. Here we go. And you got Mastari on deck here. This is the 45 starting to feel it. And Moj crabs a strike here. And we talk about Vince Acey. He got every swing you'd want to see in a hitter. And he pounds that to Meyer. He stays down. But they pick up a deuce. Flash a little loose with the softball. We head to the bottom of the third. So we'll see how Flashback responds. And Flashback. See Julian Gutierrez coming out here. Grabbing a bat. Mike Meyer made the last out. So I think Julian's going to take the swing here for Mike Morosevich. And then will be the top of the lineup with Brian Kearns and Danny Dispenza. So again, the calculation has changed for flashback. They're now down to. And here comes Julian Gutierrez now. As we get a little shade here, passing cloud. So Julian Gutierrez now trying to lead off here. Again, Julian is capable of using the whole field. 
and he goes toward the gap, and that's going to drop in front of Sanchez. And now he throws it away, and Julian ends up on second. Again, Julian had shut it down. There was no reason. He wound up and threw that like there was going to be a play. Julian saw the throw going wide. And now the leadoff man's at second. So here's Brian Kearns. Uncharacteristic mistake by the 45s. And that pitch is a little deep. And that pitch is a little bit. So Brian Kearns. Trying to find his way on. Israel grabs a strike. So Kearns is going to step out here. I believe it's a 3-1 count now. And Kearns just a little slapper to Mistari. And Mistari throws it high and wide. Now that's a perfect example if you're Julian there. You might have thought about coming over. Nate was rotating to cover the bag. And now you got first and second nobody out for Danny Dispenza. And Dispenza hard to Villarreal, to Mercado. And he stays on the bag. They do get the lead runner. Looked like Danny was trying to really drive something. To left, he ended up topping the ball. Danny Villaria is smooth as it gets over there. And it brings up Justin Smykowski. Justin very difficult to double up because of his speed. 45s. And there's a humpty base hit. One run is in. Here comes the Spencer, the third. Smykowski comes through. Three to two, 45. Still only one out here. It brings up Mike Manzella. So Mike Manzella, Joe Pish on deck. Flashback is attempting to tie the game here. Again, you got. Two very good player uh, teams that have played in everything you can play in. So there isn't going to be any quit in any of them. And Israel being very careful to Manzella. Of course, Mike was with the 45s the last two years. So they're very familiar with Mike. And, and this is going to be interesting. Rigaldo threw a guy out last game. He's going to try it. Throw is wide. Dispenza scores. So we're tied at three. On the sacrifice fly, Smykowski gets into second. And it brings up Joe Pisciatelli. Chance to put flashback up. Flashback has not led in the game. And Piscitelli tried to go the other way. Adam Haas, good read, took a hard step, reached up, and made it look easy. So, again, we are live out here at the Park District of Forest Parks, 56th Annual No Glove National. And I'd like to thank everybody, the staff. They've been aces to us all weekend. John Doss, Jackie Avanelli. Maintenance crew. Andrew Doss, great job overseeing the fields this weekend. And I'm sure I'm leaving a few people out, but they've been just great. They've made sure we needed everything we needed so we could do the game changer. And we'll have updated team standings and updated leaderboards this week on the Rap Show. We're going to try to do that maybe on Wednesday. 
So here's Jeff Mastari. Come on, boys. Split the gap for a double in right center his first time up. And there he just whistles one, and Vito can't come up with it. He's on twice. And Vito's had a rough start defensively to this game. He needs to take a breath and just relax a little bit. And that brings up Chris Lantine. Nobody out here. And Moji jumps ahead now. 0-2. Oh and there's a line drive. Stacy didn't make the catch. Tag Mistari. And they call the double play. Now Bobby Ross used to be the master at faking the drop. He had Mastari in front of him. That ball was hit pretty hard. And Stacy did the right thing. He tagged the runner first, and then he stepped on the bag. If you step on the bag, Adam Haas could have, or excuse me, Mastari could have went back to first. Because the hitter is forcing that base runner off the bag. The base runner there does not have a right to first base until you put out the hitter. And Haas sweeps it at Vito. And Vito really struggling over there. You can tell because he went down on both knees instead of staying upright and coming through the ball. And he got a little, little hop. So Adam Haas is on. And it brings up Danny Villarilla. So flashback, a little uncharacteristic here. A few infield errors. And Danny goes the other way. Spenza <coughs> gets there and makes the play. So halfway through, all tied at three. Now, if there's an if game... The 45s would be the home team. If you flashback, the pressure's not on you because you have the if game to fall back on. But if you're the 45s, of course, the pressure's on because they, they either got to win or they got to go home. So. It's going to be Joey Agardo, Vito, Iovino, and Anthony Stacy. So let's see if this tough start by Vito gets carried over to his offense. Did get a hit his last time up. And there's a little ground ball to Pauly. And they get Joey Agardo at first. So here's Vito. And I got to tell you, the 45s have failed to cash in on some miscues. And we'll see if that ends up haunting. We'll see if that ends up haunting them later in the game. Grabs a strike there. And there's a hard ground ball. Big hop to Mercado. Two up, two down. 45s have certainly had more base runners. And here comes Anthony Stacy. Ryan Russ on deck. As we get the return of the bright sunshine. And that's a high pop-up. It'll be out of play. That's good news for Anthony. If it was in the field of, or of play, 
or fair anywhere, he would have been out. So we are live here, SSA broadcast guest streaming. Forest Park has put on another brilliant event. I don't know why it's disconnected. So the phone from the battery and hope it solves the So we're back. And Joe Pauly going to be leading off. Top of the fifth, 3-3 three, three nail biter here. Pauly goes up in the air. Smykowski calling for it. Makes the catch for the first out of the fifth inning. So. Bo Filkins. Coming out to hit here. For Izzy Sanchez. And Billy Smith on deck. Looks like he's going to swing for Chuck Rigaldo, which has been their pattern in this tournament. And Billy Smith has been throwing hits out. Bo got a couple of big hits earlier. And that's a little flare. Long run. And Brian Ross called off Joey Agardo. Made the catch. So Ryan Russ, long run. Wynn was trying to knock it down, but he found a way to get there. Two up, two down now. And here's Billy Smith. Of course, Billy, long time right fielder for the 45s and OBI. I don't think he played on the FETA teams. Of course, his brother Alex, also a terrific player. So two outs here. Top of the 45 lineup. Hoping to get a crack at it. And Billy Smith, Mike Myers, robs him! Billy Smith looked like he had a hit in the right field. Myers ranging a long way to his left. Snagged it. And made a good throw. So we had bottom of five, three, three. And looks like Steph McLaren has grabbed the bat. And I believe he's hitting for Mike Morosevich. So he's, I think he's hitting for, I think he might be hitting for Mike Myers, actually. And then we'll see what they want to do with Moji. So here's Steph McLaren. We are in the bottom of the fifth, 3-3. Three, three. Last year during the championship game, the wind was blowing in as well. And Steph, a little chopper. Paulie comes in, a little underhand shuffle over to Adam Haas for the first out here. So both teams right now not really swinging it. They're going to let Moji swing here. Brian Kern's on deck. Yeah, Billy's, Billy was a great player back in the day. And Moji ground ball to Mastari. 
lobs it over for out number two. So that's going to bring up Brian Kearns. And you know they let Moji swing, but the problem is you don't want him to get hurt. And if he gets on base, he's a base clogger, which means you would literally probably need three hits to score him, or you would need a massive long drive. Moji, terrific pitcher, just does not run well. So Brian Kearns, last time up, he dropped the barrel down into his grip and just dinked one to third. Now he's got Mastari playing one step behind the bag and creeping almost even. There's a roller, but Israel handles it. Flashback goes one, two, three. We head to the top of the six, three to three. So the 45s are going to be right at the top of their lineup here in the sixth. Flashback will be at Danny Dispenza, the two-hitter. So this is basically a 3-3 game in the sixth, and it's going to be top versus top. This first one. Again, I, I got to go back to earlier in the game. Oh boy. Where Flashback made several errors and the 45s did lead to a, a run, but they didn't really cash in like you would have liked to. And Sanchez to center, Smikowski came in hard, slid under it. Ball did bounce around a little bit along his chest, but he held on. So good ball, better defensive play. It's going to bring up P.J. Reigns. Again, if flashback wins, the tournament is over. If they lose, we'll have free softball in this game. And Rain slashes one, and Smykowski robs him in short center field. That ball looked like it was a hit all the way. Smykowski got there and made a spectacular catch. Justin Smykowski, two stellar plays. Takes that on the plate. And there's a ball. Mercado throws it to right center. Nate a big turn, dispends a perfect one hot throw to keep him to a single. If not for Smykowski, the 45s would be looking at a pretty big inning. And Jeff Fernandez knows Nate Mercado will be very aggressive. He will try to steal a run if you don't get the ball in quick. And here comes Vince Sacy. Vince has got good back control. I wonder here if just maybe the 45s might think about maybe a little hit and run action with Vince. And there's a rocket that's toward the gap. Mercado is flying. He ain't stopping. And he's going to score the lead run. And that's going to allow Sacy. So Vince Sacy threw it toward left center. Looked like Moji flattened out a little bit on him. 
And Nate Mercado, the minute the ball was hit, I don't think he would have stopped regardless of what the third base coach might have told him. And he scores on the stretch single. Sacy takes second on the throw to the plate. And here's Mistari with another run sitting at second. So there's two outs here. For a guy who's a power hitter, the left side of the flashback infield is creeping in. And there's a little flare, and that drops. 45s have plated a pair. Mastari doubles to right center. Five to three. So the first two guys got robbed. The next three guys have delivered hits. And it's five to three, and I think Jibs is trying to get Moji to lock back in. He flattened out the last two hitters, and it's cost him. So five to three here, 45s. The way this game is going, it almost feels like a four or five run lead. And what they need to do here is put a Band-Aid on it and get out of here and get back, get back in the box. So Mike Morosevich now, and there he had a little more air under that pitch. And there's a pitch to Chris Lentine. Again, that was a little higher pitch. So we had bottom of the six, 45s, despite the two spectacular defensive plays. Didn't get discouraged, found a way to put up a deuce. And I'm going to grab a quick swig of water, folks. So two, three, four, Dispenza, Smykowski, and Dispenza hits it the other way and it drops. Dispenza's gonna get to third with a leadoff double. Looked like there was a little miscommunication. Anthony Sanchez and Chuck were very close. The ball dropped right between them. And here's Smykowski. So Danny Dispenza adds to his Chicago Summer Series double lead. That's outside. And, and Justin Smykowski, five to four ball game, and he throws it, but right to the cutoff man. So Justin Smykowski, two great defensive plays. Second time he got a big RBI in this game, and it's five to four. So nobody out here, and it brings up Manzella, Pisciatelli on deck. Stay hot, dude. Come on. Get Good speed aboard, and Justin Smykowski. Israel grabs a big strike there. Takes that inside. So flashback. He goes the other way. Sanchez, he beat him down the line. Smykowski. And they're going to hold him. <laughs> He beat Sanchez down the left field line. Justin was going to tag on it. Got a late start on it. Will Russ going to run for Manzella. 
Nobody out here, second and third for Joe Piscitelli. And I'd like to see Joe just sit back and try to drive a gap. He's been kind of fooling around with. He's been kind of fooling around with some weird swings. He's got a massive hole up the middle. Grabs a strike with Joey Agardo on deck. And there he gets it to the gap and it's down. One run is in, Will will score. And Joe Piscitelli, two run double. And Flashback has taken the lead. As they've come back with the three spot and there's still nobody out. So Joe Pish did sit back and try to drive something. And here's Joey Agardo and he dumps a hit. And they'll hold Pish. First and third, nobody out. As Joey Agardo flips a little cut shot into left center. And here's Vito. Flashback all of a sudden fell down by two. And now they're going to have a little mound meeting. Joe Yaris has, has, and Joe Yaris coming out, trying to just slow the game down. And that's going to bring up Vito now after the mound conference. So we've had a couple of lead changes. Again, we're in the bottom of the sixth. Flash with the lead. They're now two def three defensive outs away in the top of the seventh from repeating. But I wouldn't be comfortable with the one-run lead. Anthony Stacy on deck, and Vito goes hard, and Chuck gets there. That is going to score another run. So Vito made sure he elevated. Great job by Chuck Rigaldo, and it left the bat. Looked like it had a chance to sit in the gap. Still only one out here for Anthony Stacy. Stacy up the middle. Great play by Villarreal. And he beats the relay. Danny Villarreal. Big play there. If that ball sneaks through, Joey Agardo. And Joey is grabbing his right hip a little bit. You know, the problem there is sometimes as a base runner, you think that ball's going to sneak in. And all of a sudden, Villarreal out of nowhere. And now you kind of move funny because now you realize you might have to slide. And that awkward movement can cause a strain. And Ryan Ross tried to go big. But in the inning, 7-5, to five, flashback, throws up a four spot. And they're three outs away from defending their no-glove national championship. Crazy sixth inning. 45s took the lead. They scored two in the top of the six. Flash answered with four, and they lead seven to five. Will Ross having a heart attack over here. I didn't see us selling popcorn this weekend. So Will Ross. And again, we told you in the last game, Julian, the designated ball catcher. <laughs> so... 
course, Julian's chipped in with the bat this weekend as well. That's just a little superstition they got working this weekend. So the 45s, they've got Adam Haas, Villaria, and Pauly. 7 8 9. They need a, at least one base runner to be dangerous. They need two to keep the game going, three to take a lead, anything less. And Flashback will win the 56th annual Park District of Forest Park No Glove National Championship. And if you're Mike Morosevic, everybody must hit to get on. Because a solo home run doesn't hurt you. You're still winning. And Adam Haas up the middle. Vito, long throw. And another wide throw. Vito got to it, handled it clean, and threw it up the first baseline. Stacy tried to stretch, tried to one-hand it. Now they're dangerous because the tie is in the box. Nobody out. Now what you want to do here is they put in Bobby Belzano's son to pinch run. And he can fly. So if you're flashback, you got to know what you're doing with the ball here. Of course, young Mr. Belzano is a young player. And there's a little flip shot. That's going to be out of play. So nobody out. Flashback up a deuce here. Top of the seventh trying to seal the deal. If I'm not mistaken, this would be their sixth. No glove national title. So if you're flashback, you're just looking for an out. If you're signat uh, signature, excuse me. Now you've got Joe Pauly on deck. They've already hit for Israel Sanchez. Can't see if J-Rob is over there. And Villarreal caught right in front of us by Joe Pish. Joe Pish has made two spectacular catches on line drives in this game. And again, because of the situation, big first out, double play would end it. So one out is they can... <coughs> continue to chase out here. 45's digging in. And there's a high fly ball. And Ryan Russ got there. Out number two. <coughs> I think without that little breeze blowing in, I think that ball would have got over the fence. Now they're going to hit for Israel Sanchez with Bo Filkins. And Bo's got a little pop here. 45's down to their last out. Flashback and out away from winning the 56th annual. Park District of Forest Park, no glove nationals. George Bliss is going to grab my stick and do a little post game. So stay tuned. This has been a great game, no doubt. And there's a cut. Joe Pish throw to first. Not in time. <coughs> Joe Pish had it. Couldn't secure it. Now the runners are on the corners. And Billy Smith is going to pinch hit again for Chuck Rigaldo. Again, the runner at third doesn't mean anything. The tie is at first. And the lead run, and Jeff Fernandez is going to make another trip. Joe Pish had it, and Pish is telling Joey Agardo, I can't believe it slipped out. Joe got real strong hands. And usually on a play like that, and he's still cussing himself. 
I'm a lip reader, but I can't share what he said. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate that. Yeah, it works good when we get the good internet. So here we go. First and third, two outs, seven to five flash, Billy Smith. And he hits a high fly ball. Dispenza will run out of acreage. If that ball didn't go in the seats, not sure if Danny would have got to it. If it was fair, he would have. So Bo Falkins runs okay. Stretch single, running with two outs. He's going to score. So if you're flashback, you need to grab the out here. Base hit. And there's a base hit. Dispenza, though, on it. And now it's seven to five. Seven to six, excuse me. And it brings up Anthony Sanchez. Surprised they, oh, well, they hit for Chuck twice. I'm not sure who's going to play what defensive positions and who's going to pitch. Anthony Sanchez. He got a game-winning hit out here when the 45s won a couple of years ago in the championship. Mike Morosevic. There's a high fly ball. Ryan Ross. Flashback repeats. They win the 56th annual Park District of Forest Park. No Glove National Championship. The Brain Trust is celebrating. The players are celebrating. Game effort by the 45s. And I am going to click off. George Bliss is going to do the post game. 